Hello everybody, Boo2 here. How's everyone doing today? Welcome back to Tech It. Uh oh, wrong button. Anyway, but yeah. So welcome back to Tech It. Today on the menu, uh we have quite a bit of stuff going for us today. First of all, I'm making more of these. It's not a big deal to be quite honest with you, but it's all good. Um I'm going to be working on the nuclear reactor today, and I haven't done as much research as I should into how well this whole thing is going to turn out, but I'm a little excited. <laughs> Alright, so let's go off to where the nuclear reactor is going to be housed, which is inside a, I think, 15 by 15 block force field. And right now I'm just reinforcing the innards of the force field with some... Uh, some reinforced stone, so I made made sure to bring quite a bit of it. This is where the room is, the main room. Actually, I probably should have done that. This is the main room for for the uh, nuclear reactor. I did a bit of work on it, so this black uh, black light here is for the force field. And this second one here, I'm going to make into a red light, but it opens the door to get out. So, this is just a reinforced door here. So, I'm going to have to coat this with a uh, stone, a reinforced stone like this. And uh, I'll get that stuff later. But also on the agenda is not just this simple work, but I plan on making the flying ring today, or the general ring that lets you fly, so I don't have to keep constantly jumping about like a frog on this damn map. But, uh, yeah. So that's the plan. So, yeah. The force field, uh, this whole room was cleared out, I think, over the course of about an hour or two. And it just fits the force field in. And I think what I might do is I might like make it look more like a cave, maybe add some more stone stalactites and stalagmites in on the bottom, or just leave it like this, because I do like the open feel, you know. It makes it look uh, very interesting. But, yeah. So. And I think, I'm not positive, but I think that reinforced stone can withstand explosions but you know we're gonna find out I might have to I might have had to encase this in a city and maybe that wouldn't hurt either but I could probably do that too you know grab a layer of obsidian and just put it around the outside make sure nothing gets in that we don't want to because if this force field gets down then the whole thing is done the whole project so we don't want that Alright. And dupe. Almost completed here. So we're back. Alright, I'm back. And the room is uh, entirely cased in this cobble st in this uh, reinforced stone. So let's go take a look at the force field now. So when I press that, that button activates wireless and uh, turns on the force field. Oh, I missed a spot. Dang. Got it. Anyway, so the force field, basically the whole plan is to put the nuclear reactor inside of here, probably over there or up there or something, and Dream is apparently playing Armageddon too. Anyway, so that's the plan anyway, and if there should be a nuclear explosion, this whole thing should hold up and keep it from going any further and blowing up my world basically which is what I do not want. I do not want a nuclear reactor exploding in my world that would be very disappointing. So I have to go take a look at how nuclear reactors work, see if I can figure out how to get the coolants going and all that sort of jazz. But yeah, that's that sorted out. Now to get the flying ring is the only question. Also the turn cart thing I'm not honestly sure. I'm probably just gonna have the cart just fall away here and just go down into a pit where it will just transfer back. But that's that, so let's go ahead and run to a point where I can place down the cart over he here. Alright, so yeah, that's that all sorted out, and hopefully this is far away enough so that if there is a nuclear explosion, it won't hit my base. But, you know, 
I'm taking precautions here. So, the plan for today is to make the flying ring. So, I have to go look it up. And basically, the flying ring it consists of, I think it's some like four different rings combined together. Uh, let's see. Four different, where are the rings? Nope. Oh, here we go. Here's some rings. Um, now, which one is it? I know that this is the flying ring, the specific ring that you need for flying, but I want to make the extreme ring, you know, the one that has all the rings in it, and I'm just not seeing it. Where'd it go? Oh, pff, there, there it is. Ring of Arcana. So, I need to make all of these different rings from all these different materials. That's going to be a challenging than I thought. Um, right, so... That one needs snow. This one you need. This is going to be a challenge because I have the one up of Mobius fuel, but I don't have Mobius fuel. You know what? I might just have to make just this ring, which is feathers and red and dark matter. And the ring is just simple stuff. So, let's see. So, do I have any feathers is the real question, or am I going to have to go out there and kill some chickens? I could have sworn I had feathers, though. So. Checking all my chests. Alright, I need this bucket. Where did I saw a bucket. Give me the bucket. Alright. Here's some feathers. Let's go ahead and mass these. Oh. Pfft. Okay, there we go. So there's some feathers. And it required dark matter. So let's go get some dark matter. It also required a bucket of lava. So let's go ahead and get some lava. I think, you know, I'll just run down there. I don't know. Do I have any ender pearls? I do. We Okay. Anyway, so let's see if I can outrun the ender pearl. I bet I can. Oh, almost. Oh, there it is. All right, so. I believe there was some more lava left around here that I didn't manage to get up. There's some. Wee, wee. So let's go ahead and grab that. Let's just jump back all the way up. Oh, almost made that. Almost made that one too. There we go. Dang it. This is why I need a flying ring. There we go. Let's go ahead and close up the door again. Alright, okay, so let's go all the way back. Uh, uh, I don't know why I have Ender Pearls. They're so useless in this in tech kit. I mean, you can still teleport and crap, but I mean, yeah. Right, so I have the bucket of lava, and I think I'm going to make a few more buckets of lava just so that I have spare. I just threw it out of my inventory. Okay, team. Dream is playing a lot of games lately. If you don't, Dream is one of my friends from Fire UK. He's a great guy. Um, put that back. Alright, so lava. Now, I need iron, I believe. I have lots of uranium because I've been preparing for the. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I've been preparing for the nuclear reactor. I've also been spacing out recently, so that's a thing. Whew. Okay, so to make a band, you do this, and you put iron in the center, and you got a band. So to make the flying ring, we go like this. We go like. I should have checked that recipe. So. It is four feathers, but they're over here. And this, for some reason, requires quite a bit more dark matter. There we go. So, there's the flying ring. And it basically works just like uh, you would think in single player when you're using, you know, regular flying and stuff. So, with this, I can fly uh, just like in creative mode. So, that's sorted out. Let's go ahead and get rid of some more stuff that I have in my inventory. So we can get rid of... Oh yeah, and I haven't filled up these chests either, so I'll do that. Uh, there we go, 
give me that back. Get rid of the lava. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, gotta close the blast doors. Don't know why, but I gotta do it. There we go. Okay. I also believe that this stops you from getting uh, fall damage, but I'm not honestly sure about that one. I gotta check into it. Oh, I can sprint faster than I can fly. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and open the door. Let's go under here and see the spots that I missed. Quite a few. Oh, it's so good to fly. Let's put that there. Uh, do, do, do. Just reinforcing it. Okay. I believe that's that all sorted out. And also, while I'm at it over here, I could just get rid of some of these areas of uh, ceiling that I missed. Uh, I think I missed this as well that was intruding on the force field. And the reason you get rid of these areas is so that the force field doesn't have to make it when the when the explosion occurs, if there even is an explosion. But, yeah. I love this thing. It makes my life so much easier. Alright, there we go. And dupe. Okay, that should probably do it for now. Ooh, more area I missed. Ooh, I didn't want to cut over there. Ooh. Risk it. Oh, I should have risked it. I should not have risked it. Okay, I'll fix that later. <laughs> should not have risked it. Oh, Alright, whatever. Maybe if I find the little black... Oh, oh there it is. Uh, oh yeah, this is the one. Alright, so let's get that, get that, get that, get that. Oh my god, I took out all this too? Ooh. That's why you gotta be careful when you have this stuff that's OP. It's a life lesson. Oh, and obviously... Okay. And, uh, there we go. Let's just use dirt. I got an excess of dirt on me, might as well use it. Uh, boop. The only problem with flying is that it treats you like you're swimming in water, so it makes everything more resistant. So, you know, ups and downs, ups and downs. You gotta weigh your you gotta weigh yourself, you know. See what's good, see what's bad. run out of stuff, aren't I? Yep. Alright, give me... There we go, that's that. And then I believe that... We'll just put iron... Oops, god damn it. <laughs> we'll just put iron in there for now. Uh, as for the pathway under here... I'm surprised that that even occurred. Alright, let's get rid of cobblestone and give me this. Alright. So, it goes something like this, if I can remember. See, the weird thing about these, or I should say, the weird thing about scaffolding is that it can only go for a certain amount. So you have to have a support under it. And you can't have just slabs. You need to have a double slab every, I don't know, so often. But, you know, that's what I came up with. And it also works well for me because I can then power the uh, the lamps. So, that's always good. And dupe and dupe. We found three. Oh, here's a, here's a fourth. Right, so, uh, one, two, three. I'm missing two. Huh. Oh, there we go. And dupe and dupe. All right. Well, that's okay now. We got rid of the uh, problem, and I missed to fill this in. Uh, get rid of that. 
I could have sworn that this thing didn't destroy like let man made stuff, but been wrong before. Anyway. But this is the stuff that I generally do when I'm not recording. Which reminds me I should probably cut. Anyway, be right back. Okay, that's that. Now time to make the nuclear reactor. So I'm a little bit frightened to be perfectly honest with you. I've never done this before in Tech It. Is there a spot that I missed here? Yeah. Alright, I've never done this before in Tech It, so I'm a little bit um nervous is the word. I'm very nervous to be quite honest. Why is there a big hole? Anyway, alright, I'll figure that out later. So the problem is I gotta now figure out how to make this nuclear reactor. So let us type in nuclear reactor. And you there's a nuke, there's a nuclear reactor. So again, not very hard to make. Uh, reactor chamber. This looks more complicated. Integrated. Okay, so that's not too bad. Uh Okay, this I need to put water cell in the in the extractor, and I do have an extractor, which is uh, lucky on my part. I need to do that earlier. But the cells is going to be another issue because I don't remember how many of those I made. But yeah, oh, there it was. Oh, that's the compressor. Um, but yeah, let's get rid of this crap. Oh, did I just see it? No, but there, yeah, in that chest there was uranium, which is, I guess, what you use in the reactor. I probably overshot it a bit. Uh, is that it? No. Oh, there's the extractor. Okay. So, boop. Let's see here. Well, I'll be right back. I got the extractor going, so that's always good. So that's the first step. Alright, we're going to make our first integrated heat dispenser. And so far as I can tell, you put that there, you put that there, you put that there, you put that there, and you put these two. I did something wrong, didn't I? Of course I did. Oh, of course I did something wrong. Okay, so it's not one of those, it's one of these. There we go integrated heat disperser. So I guess I need quite a few of these. Or I need two at the very least. So I need a reactor chamber. And let's see. Integrated heat. Integrated reactor plating. I have that. I only need one of these then. Well no I need two technically. And I can make this. Let's get this out of there. Uh, which is just that, that, let's take one more look, okay, and then these platings all here, and then just doop, 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 and doop, there's a reactor chamber, now I need two of these then, so that means another one of these, and, oh no, yeah, that's right. And then doop and doop. And then doop. And then that. 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 And then doop, 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 and do. There we go. Two reactor chambers. So we got these two done. Uh, okay, well then we're done. Yeah. So we need a generator. Actually, that was pretty easy to make, to be honest with you. I thought that was going to be a lot a lot more work, but I'll probably look it up in some YouTube video like, oh, I did that wrong. But we'll see. Um, so far, I mean, you know, the steps. I know I had an extra generator in here. No, that's iron furnace. There we go. There's my extra generator. So let's go ahead and pop that in there. So generator, I need more advanced alloy, I can tell. Good thing I had some heating up right here. So, 
uh, advanced alloy. So that goes all around. Uh, generator, oops. These two, oops, two uh, advanced circuits and nuclear reactor. Simple. I'm going to look up on YouTube how to work this because I'm a wee bit hazy on how to do it, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Hello, everybody, I'm back. So, what I've managed to do today is I have the nuclear reactor, I have the reactor chambers, which it says that I need, I have plenty of materials, loads of water, and loads of high voltage cable, as well as an MFSU to channel it all into. Um, and if you'll check my alchemy bags, this one holds most of the coolant, this one holds all the uranium, and this one holds the rest of the coolant. So I'm pretty sure I'm ready to go. Um, I'll go ahead and take a joy right on my minecart. And I'm going to turn up the sound a little bit, just so that we can hear some of the stuff going on. Oh, oh, what's this? That's weird. That's really strange. Okay. Whenever I look that way. Hold on. Let's turn it down a little bit more. Alright. Let's go. Off we go. I wonder if there's any strange sounds of what was going on. I can't hear weird sounds. Huh. Anyway, I haven't really turned up the sound for tech yet in a while. Anyway. Hmm. I did add new sounds. Anyway, here we go. So, let's go ahead and open up the door. Let's go up here. So, as far as I can tell, how to build the reactor goes something like this. Let's go ahead and build up three. And what you want to do is make a seven by seven area. And that's what the tutorial showed. So one we'll say this is the center. One, two, one, two, three. Oop. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. And let's see if we can find the center. One, two, three, four, one, two, oh, this is eight. Let's get rid of this. Then. Okay, so this should be the center. You want to build up two, and this is where you put your nuclear reactor. So let's go ahead and do that. So put your nuclear reactor there, and then you get rid of these. And then you build out, let's see, three like this. And then you build up one, two, three, four, five, six. And you leave the top area open for the uh, wire to come out or the cable. So, yeah. Something like this. Uh, I'm messing up way too much. This stuff is actually kind of hard to destroy, even with this. I think it has, it's like the consistency of obsidian, to be honest, but not positive. And I hope all this stays within the range of the force field, but we'll check. Dang it, I wish I could stop messing up, though. Alright. Uh, I'll go ahead and finish up the box, and I'll get back to you. Alright, so I have the box done, so let's go ahead and take a look at the water supply. Now, what the guy said I had to do, well, first we got to put in the reactor core. So let's go ahead and do that. So you put them in this order, I believe, like this. And then one on top. And then you put water in all four corners, like this. Um, and good thing I brought a spare amount of buckets and stuff. I knew I'd need them. 
Alright, and then you put water here. And then... You put water... Here. And water here. And one more bit of water... Water there. And then you need to put water... On the ceiling. So right here. And then you need to put water here, here, and then finally you want to put water right there. And as you'll notice, there's a nice open spot right there, and that spot is dedicated to the cables. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, get rid of these buckets that we don't need anymore. So, yeah. And according to the design of this guy, this won't blow up, hopefully. So, yeah. Right, so near as I can tell, we put in our coolant first. So I'll just go ahead and grab all the coolant cells that I can get my hands on. And so you put coolant right there, right there, right there, and right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there, and you just continue this till you have many open cells like this that I made. So, dupe, 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 and I guess you, ca you can never have enough coolant, so you know, that's always a good thing. I might have made way too much coolant. Um, but I don't, I don't want this to explode, so it makes, it makes sense. Alright, so uranium goes in between all the holes. So let's go ahead and grab, let's put the, let's put the coolant back in here. And we'll just fill the walls, put that in there. And that. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some uranium. Now I really don't want this to explode on me, so... Okay. Okay. So we're making... making energy, apparently. Let's go ahead and reinforce the coolness in here. Um with more coolness. I worry probably too much. This is probably really simple stuff, but yet again I don't want an explosion. So let's go ahead and fill in the rest of these. Um, I'm probably overdoing it on the coolants. Yeah, probably, but whatever. So I have six uranium as far as I can tell. So if I grab my cable, which is this, and I put it right, oop, why won't it let me connect? Can I not put it in here? Uh oh. I, mean, I guess I have to put it in the reactor. Oh, okay, so it's in there already. Is it in the proper formation? Looks to be. Alright. Then I guess these are all in there, okay. You can tell I'm not very experienced at this. Let me in the water. There we go. Nope. Why won't it let me connect? Oops. How do I connect cable to this? Oh, there we go. Connected some cable. And then we just bring up the cable. And it won't let me connect cable. There we go. Okay, so this is really thick cable. Holy cats. I've not played around with this enough. And then we'll 
bring the power supply and I have plenty of cable. I brought two stacks because I was anticipating um, quite a bit of energy. So let's go ahead and bring it down like this. Uh, I'm way overdoing this energy count. Alright, and then just keep going around here. My sister wants chocolate. Alright, and then I'll just bring it into here. Let me get inside. Now that this is activated, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the force field. So there goes the force field, that's all up. And then we can go ahead and connect and bring this in to here. And it's unfortunate that this is an even number, but it's all good. So let's, let's hook up the MFSU right there. So is this gaining? It's gaining slower than I'd like, but it's gaining. So that's okay. I anticipated this going quite a bit faster, to be honest with you, from all the hype that it generated, but okay. Um, did it break any of my wires? Let's go check. Um, uh, it all seems to be connected. Maybe it's just that this is such a long, lengthy wire. Whatever. Go ahead and turn on the force field. Close the door. Alright, so this is all in good order. Uh, as far as I'm concerned. Let's check back on this. It doesn't seem to gain as quickly as I thought it would. Maybe if I exchange more uranium cells. I might as well go try it. Let's go put in some more uranium into the reactor. Um, okay. Well, let's just put one more uranium cell in there. And then we'll put two more. Hell, I have the uranium. And then we'll reconnect. Oop, come on, stop it. go okay so now maybe with two more uranium it'll start you know getting more power all right there we go I can't tell to be honest with you but I'm satisfied as of now um so I guess this was just a big hype as far as I can tell if it's not getting all that much. I'll just create another MFSU. I'll be right back. Alright, so I got both MFSUs here. I have, a, and this one won't be gaining for some time. It's kind of a backup, just in case this fills up. But, yeah, I'm fairly content at this. I'm going to keep this, uh thing going for a while and see if we can gain any higher significant amount of power from it, which is always what I want to see. So yeah, I'm going to keep the force field up just in case because I don't want any explosions occurring. But I think I might just feel a little bit risky enough to just try and give it a couple more cells of power. So let's go ahead in here. Alright, let's go ahead and give it... Let's put it... There. Okay. What if I put another one... No, 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 no. We'll just, we'll just save it. That's plenty of uranium in there for now. Now what's important is turning on the force field. There we go. Uh, oop, 
There we go. Alright. Let's check back on these and see if there's any... It seems to... It might be getting a bit faster. I'm not honestly positive that... Hmm. Strange. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> so now that this is all up and, up and running, we can pretty much relax and hope that it doesn't explode inside, you know, anything. But yeah, I'm not, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with these uh, MFSUs. This one is gaining as well. Not as fast. Alright, whatever. I could have this whole thing be MFSU, but that probably isn't going to be wise. Anyway. Alright. Well, I'm pretty pleased. Um... Yeah, that's the episode in a nutshell. I'm cutting it a bit short this time than other episodes, but uh, that's just due to the me being sick and um, really tired, and I just wanted to get out the nuclear stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. The few people that do, you guys are really great. I didn't know you could do that. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.